Okay, G good morning and thank you. Uh, as we stand here at 7003 Cantrell, Fire Station number 12, uh, for this dedication ceremony. What's our purpose of being here? Uh, we're gonna commemorate one of our very own who died in the line of duty that we shall never forget. Although we show great respect for all of the victims of our fellow firefighters of 9-11, I pay homage to them, but I thought that it would only be befitting that we never forget Edward Kareem. Denise and to the children, mother, brothers, thank y'all. We, the Little Rock Fire Department, uh, the city of Little Rock, will never forget Edward Kareem. I would like to recognize some of our special guests here. We've got Mayor Frank Scott to my right, City Manager Bruce Moore, and to the other elected officials that are present, I thank you for your presence. It means the world to the Little Rock Fire Department. I now would like to give this moment to turn it over to Mayor Frank Scott Jr. for a few words. to the family, to the men and women of the Little Rock Fire Department. Uh, we know we are still in a time of grieving, a time when we're all in need of comfort, when we recognize the life and the legacy of Battalion Chief Kareem. He is a family friend. He is a public servant. He is a leader and we are grateful for his life. We're grateful for the impact that he's had on the city of Little Rock, the state of Arkansas. And on behalf of the city of Little Rock, it is our distinct honor and pleasure to not only acknowledge and affirm the man, the father, the son, the brother, the leader in Battalion Chief Kareem, and what he's done and continue to do and do because of the seeds that he has left in good ground that will continue to be a harvest for us all. We are grateful and we honor him in this day and forevermore. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. As, as fire chief of this department, any department, the one of the worst days of a fire chief's career is to have to deal with a line of duty death. Because you always have to go back and assess, reassess what it is I could have done, what could we have provided, what resources could we have given him to be successful. But I do believe there's a greater power that controls all of that that we only have limited abilities. But that that we can do, the Little Rock Fire Department will do. With that being said, there's a special presentation in addition to the unveiling uh, from Captain Michael Witherspoon. Good morning, everyone. Um, today is a day that we all remember uh, it's for 9-11, but it's also a day that we all here in Little Rock Fire Department lost a brother uh, that we all dearly loved. Uh, so as brothers in the fire department, we just like to present a plaque to the fire department in uh, memory of Chief Kareem uh, to be hung in the training division uh, so his memory will forever live in our history of our department. Uh, Denise, you have one that we presented to at the funeral, but this one will be put up inside of our training division. So whenever you all come walk the halls or whoever walk the halls, they will see his name and it, his legacy will forever live on. And that came from members of the fire department.
Thank you, Captain. I, I want this family to know, uh, especially the daughters. Uh, I have three daughters of my own. And one of the things my daughters used to always say is, uh, that's my daddy's fire truck. Even though it belonged to the city, they would say, that's my daddy's fire truck. Well, I, I want you girls to always know when you point at engine 12, we put something on there so you can always, always say, I want to be able for this baby right here when she turns 20 to say, that's my daddy's fire truck and I got proof. It'll be presented to you. So with that said, I have uh, a special guest that want to share a few words with us. Hi, I'm Kennedy Kareem, my dad's oldest daughter. And I wrote something short to say. Um, I would just like to say a bunch of thank yous on behalf of my sisters, mom and I, towards this beautiful memorial for my father, as he isn't the only one who has passed in the line of duty. This is a beautiful statement toward his devotion on the fire department, and I'm truly grateful for his recognition. 